I was talking to my nephew, y'all, and he uplifted me in my spirits this morning, last night, whatever. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. See, your children is not the only people that can bless you. Y'all want y'all to I want y'all to pay attention to this message. Okay, you running around here trying to get your children straight. Don't forget about your nieces and your nephews and your sisters and your aunties and your uncles. Don't just surround all the blessings around your children. You know what I'm saying, like they did in the Bible back in the day, like David and them. They, they, kept, the, they kept the blessings all in their house, not to cuss, Lord. I'm going to try to get this message without cussing. Don't just get the blessings, just keep them in your house. Now, I know you got to make sure your kids are straight first. I know you got to do that. I did that, right? I did all that already. So we all family. I was ready to give up. I was feeling mighty down. I was feeling mighty bad. And the Lord sent my nephew to remind me, y'all got to watch this episode too. So see what had happened was my nephew came and we went and we reminisced for a couple days. And we, we went back to the hood where we started from. And my nephew said before we left, he said, he said, auntie, Rock would have just been a baddie if she hadn't got into it with you and you kept it going. And then he said, and Blue would have just been Blue after that one song, but then you just kept going back and forth with him and that energy and that good marketing just kept him in the light. You know what I'm saying? It sucks to have for him to have to use his own mama to stand on, but who better else than your mama? We ain't gonna worry about that daddy. He just trying to figure out how to get in where he fit in. We gonna let you in because I don't believe in blocking nobody's softness. But then he said, he said, now, Callie just stayed quiet and she just said, mama, I'm just here when you need me. And every time you need me, mama, I'm here. And if I gotta go out bad, mama, and piss on myself, mama, I'm here. He, that's what he said about Callie, y'all. This the nephew, okay? Now this the nephew I hired. I said, nephew, I, I, whatever you need, whatever shoes I buy them, whatever clothes I buy them, whatever I do for them, I need you to come down here and help me watch them, man. I need you to watch over them when I'm at work. He said, auntie, I'm going to come help you. And when he out here, he watching. He on the football field. He watching. No, 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 don't do that, Dre. No, 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 John, don't do that. You don't want to do that. Stay over here. Stay on the football field. Let Dre play over there. Don't, 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 don't do that. You know, we, we had Cali every other weekend all the holidays and then extra days you know when the daddy you know they you know how the daddies do they go file for the custody so they don't have to pay the child support he won he was with the popo that's another story i'm gonna get in on that too because god set that blessing up later too Woo, jesus you did good on this you did good on everything i ain't gonna complain i ain't gonna complain i ain't gonna complain on this easter sunday i ain't gonna complain so nephew said <laughs> He said, I'm just watching. I'm still just watching. I'm watching everything play out. And everybody stood on your back to get where they at. Everybody stood on your back to get where they at. Then he said, he said, Jason, he said, John probably told Jaden, you got to go back and forth with my mama. Because these people know she got the, she the one with the juice. Okay, so. All of a sudden, you're going to be bad at my mama. We're going to get this one song, and then you and my mama going to go back and forth, and then the song going to go up too. It take a nephew. Sometimes it ain't your kids. Sometimes it ain't your immediate family. My I ain't going to take that from Krishan because she said it too. She, when we turned the cameras off and went inside Krishan's house, I'm going to give her her props. She said... I don't know why you keep thinking it's your son. You the one with the juice. That's where I got the juice from, y'all. She did. She she, def she definitely knew. Because, see, whether your enemy, whether the devil, your enemy, everybody know the plan for your life. Everybody know who got the juice. Because when the devil send his kids out, he don't send them out to play with the kids that don't got the juice. So when y'all get ready to go in y'all storms and y'all battles, and you think your team is going to be your immediate family, your kids, you know what I'm saying? So 
what's up guys welcome to my channel my name is lynn from kenya east of africa and guys you're very welcome to my channel so in case this is your very first time here please consider subscribing so that you can always stay updated whenever i post a video also in case you're my returning subscriber thank you very much for always coming back i don't take your support for granted at all anyway straight into today's a uh, commentary guys that was mrs kalisa and guys you all know that mrs kalisa has always complained about all her kids and also she has always complained about uh blue face together with his lovely baby mamas that is jaden alexis and christian rock but on this video mrs kalisa was just sharing um a testimony or else uh, a story time of how you know despite expecting a lot of uh, grateful things from her kids despite expecting her kids to treat her well and they didn't there is somebody else who happened to have you know told mrs kalisa some nice words who happened to have uh, encouraged her and mrs kalisa on this video was just saying that you know she just had a talk with her nephew before they went out uh, to have something and the nephew really encouraged mrs kalisa and he really really encouraged her as a person because mrs kalisa was saying that you know she was feeling so 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 down you know she was not in the moods and you know guys we can all agree with her because we all know that her kids treat her not so well you all know that those kids have gone to interviews talked nasty words about mrs kalisa and you know it's their mother you know somebody who is your mother you, you know you better keep it yourself rather than announcing to the to the world anyway mrs kalisa just said that the nephew really encouraged her so 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 much and that the nephew really gave her all her flowers while she's still alive and the nephew told her that she's the re she has really worked hard to put her kids on the top you all know that you know mrs kalisa is always supporting these children despite the children saying that uh kalisa is narcissistic you'll know that you know when kalisa talks about them somehow they get famous you know when kalisa comes online says something you know uh they somehow uh gain from it and also you know uh, lose from it because of their emotional and mental health anyway uh, then if you told mrs kalisa that you know uh she has really worked hard to help you know uh blue face to help uh uh dre to help uh kali her only daughter and so much you know and kali even gave a story where she had even employed the same nephew you know to look after her kids so that they could be great people guys i feel like in as much as mrs kalisa has failed like he her her own kids her own kids have also bet uh, failed her look at blue face with all the motherly love you know that she doesn't appreciate that comes from mrs kalisa He's in jail. He's in jail for prob probation violation. And guys, violating probation is something that he could have avoided. You know, that, that guy was always recording things, being violent with the woman. Example, her very own girlfriend, uh, Christian Rock, you know, talking crude, going forth and back with other rappers, you know. Example, being soldier boy. So, you know, look at Dre. Mrs. Kalisa employed the same nephew, just like she said in that video. But Dre also went to jail for having a bad company, you know, gang. And you know what? I don't know what y'all think, but, you know, the nephew also uh, was asking for help from Mrs. Kalisa because he was feeling like Mrs. Kalisa has really helped to keep her kids on the top. And Mrs. Kalisa felt so, so, so touched because she felt like somebody was seeing what she does despite all the backlash the backlash she faces you know she also went ahead and said that uh christian rock has ever admitted you know uh behind the scenes uh that you know uh she that she's the person who has helped blueface be where he is today now i don't know what y'all think about all this but just go in the comment section tell me you know what do you think uh do you think like mrs kalisa is the reason as to why these kids are up there or do you feel like she's the reason 
where they are not still where th whether they are where they're supposed to be because these kids are always against their mom anyway that's all, all for now i'll update you with more news